everybody has a different situation in terms of net worth, how many kids they have, where they are with their career, what does their liquidity look like, how much money do they net at the end of the year, and what do they want a deployment strategy for investments are going to be. So yes. when people sign up and they apply, one of the biggest things is I'm going to have a pretty long on-take form so that I know where everybody's net worth, their liquidity, what problems they're having, so that when we go through the itinerary, I can match people up specifically in the right groups gotcha. or with the right people. This is a story about a dude named Lane. Then one day he went and tried to rent them out, and then he became one of the main. We're talking to Ryan here, one of my accredited investors, been in a bunch of deals with me. He came down to the Hui Mastermind retreat in Honolulu, Hawaii last year. Why don't you give us a little quick take on what did you like about it? And then I'll give you the big news, man. So I, I loved it last year. I can't wait to do it this year. So basically these people, I could relate to them a lot more. They were all uh, hard workers. They understood the long-term play. They had the capital to back up what they wanted to do. Everyone in their group had their own little experiences and experiments going on. So some people are looking into tiny homes. Some people are looking maybe into office space. Some people are doing still single family homes and others are doing syndications. So you get a very broad range of what everyone's doing. And it, it rarely intersects with exactly what I'm doing. I would be doing like, for instance, what I brought to the table last year was I had just gotten into an island syndication. So I wanted to bring details to everyone there and you can share your experiences and people can ask you questions that you may have not have thought of and because they have that experience as well. Yeah. And, th and that's the thing, folks, like our group is, I think the only group out there that's pure passive investor groups, most uh, real estate, I, actually, I stopped going to real estate conference because I started to realize they're all fake. Either they're trying to sell some guru's $30,000 course or they're just a bunch of newbie syndicators trying to get in the game and yeah, just on some podcast or something like that. That's, that's what I noticed. This, this was an experienced group. A lot of them had already been in some syndications. Some were just getting started off, which is fine too, but I got help on both ends. So I could see what others were doing from the get-go and I realized that they had capital. They had the desire to just be passive. And then I saw obviously people ahead of me who had been doing it longer, who had been in more deals. And I could peek around the corner and see what I should be looking out for, what's next. And that's mainly what I like. I like to get that notion of what's next and how to look ahead. I'll be doing the same thing. We'll be filtering investors and only those who meet the certain criteria of pure passive investors will be getting into this year's event. But I got some bad news, man. What's that? You're not going to be able to come to Hawaii this year because the all that's been going on, the whole pandemic thing. So, so you just, you just gonna, don't want me to come? No, not... You and everybody else are going to need to stay at home and uh, attend this thing virtually. But, but yeah. Well, that's... how is that going to work? I'm in a bunch of other masterminds and okay. we are all things I pay 25 grand. I'm in a few of these and I'm taking the best practices from those events. The reason why I spend that much money to go to those type of events, and I'm sure why you came to Hawaii was so that you could build a relationship with other people. So I've seen ways to do this virtually, right? Okay. Using a lot of Zoom breakout rooms, but I have a lot of work that I have to do to bring the right people in, ask people the right questions to curate the right speaking slots as we go around this event. Okay. Um, it, it will be virtual this year, Martha Luther King, January 2021. It'll be probably a couple days, no more than six hours a day in the first half of the day, since I know how things are hard. It, it, and this is what's nice about our in-person meeting that we won't be able to do is you get to detach and it's, it's, it was the time at the bar. It was the time hanging out. That was the cool time. That was. But we're going to try and mimic this as much as possible. And I, I would say like most online events are just like death by speakers, a bunch of PowerPoints, but the majority of the interaction is going to be, you guys are going to be talking to other members, either on a one-to-one -one basis like this or in a small groups, no more than 12 people in a group. So you're going to really get to know each other personally. I, I like that. I think, yeah, okay. So you're going to have breakout rooms with smaller groups of people. I, I think that's going to increase the focus as well. I think it's easy to get caught up in, in trying to talk to everyone when there is like a larger group at a big table. I, I noticed that. So I think it is, that is going to be helpful. Yeah. And that's the hard thing about even in-person events, right? Like when you, 
And most of us in our group are introverts. You're 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 an introvert, right? Too. I want to be. Yeah. Yeah. You're an evolved introvert. <laughs> so, what I notice being an introvert too is like when you find somebody cool to talk with, you, you spend a lot of time with them. And you don't talk to everybody else. So, these breakout rooms, how I'm gonna facilitate them is gonna be cool because it's gonna give you enough time. You know, ten minutes to in interact with somebody, get a good vibe, see if you want to interact with them again in the future, take that content. But it's also going to maximize your time so you can interact with as a lot of people in this. Yeah, event. that's that's true. I think it's going to, it's obviously, I think it'll be, so, so how will it be organic? Like, I, I think in, in person, you, it would just be like randomly. You would meet some people and, and see if you would connect with them. How is it going to work here? Are there going to be like groups that you choose to be in? Are there going to be focus groups or? Yeah, so I'm going to do a little bit of random matchmaking for sure. But for the most part, I want to give people somewhat of a guideline of, you know, what to talk about instead of just popping you guys into a group. <laughs> Cause that's okay. a little awkward, right? Here is the, the start of the family office Ohana virtual mastermind, the bubble 2021 is what I'm going to call it. Okay. I've got, I'm starting to build a list of different topics here. This list will obviously grow as the uh, weeks go by, as we get closer to the event, but there's very common topics that I see coming up, right? The guy who has a high net worth, doesn't have very much liquidity, but has a lot of money in their home equity or their 401k. How are they taking money out of their 401k slowly? So they leak it out. So their AGI doesn't come up over $300,000. That was something we talked about this past year that I would say half of the people in the room, and I'm sure half of the people with the virtual mastermind are having the same issues. So getting those people together. And for those people who don't have those issues, we'll put them in another group for general networking or sure. infinite banking. I don't know if you've set yours up yet, but that was a big thing for a lot of people, hardly setting that up. And everybody has a different situation in terms of net worth, how many kids they have, where they are with their career, what does their liquidity look like? How much money do they net at the end of the year? And what do they want a deployment strategy for investments are going to be? So. Yes. When people sign up and they apply, one of the biggest things is I'm going to have a pretty long on-take form so that I know where everybody's net worth, their liquidity, what problems they're having, so that when we go to the itinerary, I can match people up specifically in the right groups gotcha. or with the right people. That makes sense. That's gonna, yeah, that's going to be really helpful. It's going to take a lot of planning. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that's a lot of work on your end. Like There's a common amount of problems and issues people have. And for example, infinite banking, there's some experts in the crowd. There's some people that have never heard of it. The experts I'm going to hook up with, I'm going to have some people in my current mastermind to play elders and bring up some people that are in the middle, but I'm going to jump to the breakout room with the complete newbies and teach it from the start. So it's this, this format will continue throughout the weekend. Okay. Yep, that you know, we might even do a little bit of uh, Texas Hold'em. This is a fun game or something like that. In the that would game. be awesome. I think games are, I was going to say, like the activities in the games, especially in, in person last year, that was, those were great. That really helped start talking to people and, and just feel people out, at least in terms of not just real estate, but just in what type of person they are. Yeah, it's going to be a super sleek use of Google documents. And because like, <laughs> one thing I can do is you have your, your just totally random networking and you have these more specific itinerary based topic discussions, but the, in the middle, you have this form of maybe there's different breakout rooms that people want to learn about or talk to other people's in the peers. So I can build a Google document with the breakout room, breakout one, rename it to 401ks, breakout two rename it to taking money out of your retirement account, break out three to legacy planning. What are you doing in your irrevocable trust or trust? What kind of caveats are you putting in there? Who wants to talk about oil and gas or land conservation easements, right? And just a general hallway. Yeah. I think like that to your previous point, that was important for me is like tax strategies. Since I'm single, I don't, there are no kids. So it's, I don't get a whole lot of tax help. Those were great strategies for me last year. And, and I'd really like to see and check in. What have people been doing around, um, about them? Did anyone go for it? I know that we were still researching oil and gas last year. And then obviously, yeah, the hallway too. I think it might be good to force people to rotate into the hallway every so often, to just relax and, and take a break from learning and, and absorbing information at least. 
Yeah. And in, in the new version of Zoom right now, you have the ability to navigate yourself through the breakout room. So if you're not, okay. if something's not working for you, you can move around however you want. We'll, awesome. we'll leave that option open for people. But uh, going back to the taxes, right? Like the using real estate professional status, 750 hours uh, with active participation and using all these passive losses you're getting via cost segregations and bonus depreciation from these deals. You understood it, right? You're there in person, you got the concepts. So what we would probably do for you now is put you in a group with the experts that get it and you guys have passive losses to use and then put you in the people that are on the same level so you can, guys can talk shop. I might stick with the new people and teach them this concept of the simple passive cash flow gravy train as I've Cause, trademarked it. <laughs> yeah, because that was me. That was me last year, actually. I had no idea about it. I'd never heard of these things. And, and so I was new. And now that I know about it and I've actually been looking around It'd be great to even get more information about people who have already done it. We've got people in the group who have gotten short-term rentals. They let us enact their real estate professional status so they can offset their passive losses to the ordinary income. You, my friend, are single, so it's going to be hard for you to do it. But we'll connect you with maybe the other single people, too. Even if they're not single, it's still. I think it's still useful. I think, yeah, I can still find relatable people. And, and again, the big part for me is probably, I guess, the hallway... It might be helpful to have a room to just talk about like a general room. There's no forced topic, but it's also not like a hallway where you just kind of hang out and talk about like the weather. I don't know. But really a big part, a big draw for me is like hearing, like for instance, I think one person was doing like Airbnbs with tiny homes and I, I was like, that's, that's awesome. And he was just wrapping it up. So I'd love to connect with him again and say, oh, how, how'd that go? How's it looking now with COVID? Things like that. Yeah, and I'm going to be going out to certain members on specific topics that they're doing like that, and they, they can need a breakout room also. That way they can work their membership to their, their, their admission rate a little bit lower on a scholarship. So that's a big thing I'm doing in the family office, Ohana, is I'm having people join up for another year who are more senior, kind of helping the event go. So it's just not me doing it all. We're going to have definitely have gotcha. helpers here, but like more facilitators too, and I'm open to that also. Gotcha. We're trying to build this community here of high net worth accredited investors to on the road to financial freedom. One thing I'd also like this year is I'm not married, but I, I do have a girlfriend and she wants to get into real estate. She likes the idea of like mailbox money, passive income. That's uh, so why I'm, she has you, man. Mailbox you... money right there. You just go to work every day. And... <laughs> yeah, maybe it is, but she, she, not for she you. Wants... Not for you. <laughs> You're just ordinary. Yeah. I am. I am. It's it's more passive on her part. But yeah, I, I, I think it's it's beneficial here. Do you think there would be, for people who do have spouses or significant others, are there going to be rooms for them or, or can they join? That's a great idea. And what I know I'm going to do is we're going to have a topic called reluctant spouse syndrome, where I'm going to give the high level, very quick presentation. But again, the format of this thing is to break out into our rooms, to talk story, get best practices from the other members. Okay. I'm going to pull people and, and find those people in the group that have gotten their spouse over the hump. And from that means they maybe talk to them for 2000 hours and they finally get it, <laughs> or they found some kind of quick medium, right? Like me, okay. I don't have my spouse co-sign any of my documents because I don't want to waste my time every single time I do this. So I found the happy medium. But gotcha. it's different for everybody. And it I think is, yeah. in that situation, you're going to be able to talk to people who have gotten over the situation or you got in going through that hard struggle with your, your significant other going through it. We'll probably allow, maybe that might be a good evening time event where we have the spouses join us and they can interact with the other spouses too. When we did the in-person thing, there were a few couples that came that brought their... Uh, the reluctant spouse along because it just happened to be in Hawaii and they got shipped to go to Hawaii. When they met a lot of the other investors such as yourself and they got it, right? They saw how our very high level group did this. And it wasn't just about making money. It was about creating a legacy and wealth building. They right. got it. And I think that to have the spouses come in and interact, mix it up with the other spouses and folks like yourself, I think that's gold. And we'll definitely try and do stuff like that. Great. Yeah, that'll help because right now she only hears me talk. And so I think it's, it's refreshing to maybe get her some more exposure in terms of more experienced people, other people who are also uh, getting their feet. Yeah, that'll probably be the good cocktail event for sure. <laughs> cool. Any other questions, man? I think this is going to be a super fun event. Martin Luther King weekend. 
So you've got that Monday off. Okay. But we'll probably do it on a Saturday and Sunday in the first half of the day. Awesome. Awesome. And then how are you going to, because typically, like when everyone was in Hawaii, you had, everyone was in the same time zone. So how are you going to coordinate everyone to be together when they live in different areas? Well, I'm going to suck it up and try and wake up extra early and probably start it at like really early just so that we can stay on that first half of the day for for yourself. I think most of us are in the mountain or Pacific time zone, centrally okay. located. So to kind of start on in the morning and then go to a little bit after lunchtime. But so you have the, the time to do whatever you need to do for the rest of the day. But sure. I think it is important to break away from your normal day to day and immerse yourself. That's the big thing is yes. immersion. Yeah, but I think it's cool this time that you don't have to get on a plane and go. And what I'll probably do also is build an itinerary of these different topics that we are talking about. So if something doesn't pertain to you or you want to cherry pick, you got to go do the laundry or something. You got to run errand, right? <laughs> Mr. Ordinary Income Man, you got to do something. <laughs> I got to go look at work stuff. Yeah, you got to go do work stuff. You can cherry pick <laughs> when you want to do that so you don't miss out something that you really want to learn about. And that, that's huge. That is. Yeah. But I think when people realize the quality of people in this group, if they haven't already, they're going to see, they're going to, their eyes are going to really open. Just like how yours did when you came That was, away. yeah, that was huge for me. I think that's when it became really evident that you've put a lot of work in into creating the group. And it's, yeah, it's everyone wants you to win and everyone's on a team together and everyone's going to help you out. Yeah. It's a great group. I'm going to do a, my best trying to filter the right people into the group. There's always a chance. Not many people make it get past my filters, but I think this is where- I Am I going to get past your filter? <laughs> you, you're going to make it in. You've been around a while. I know you personally. But, um, I think this is where I rely on like, my community, right? We all need to be watchdogs. Potentially a bad right. actor or, or a shady character who could come in, could infiltrate the group. But for the most part, everybody are pure past investors they're all working to build their own personal family office and it's more of an abundance mindset that's what i felt really competitive yeah we'll send this out to folks and hopefully they learned from your good questions you gave me a good one that was, that was good but any good. last words my friend that's all i got thanks a lot lane This website offers very general information concerning real estate for investment purposes. Every investor situation is unique. Always seek the services of licensed third-party appraisers and inspectors to verify the value and condition of any property you intend to purchase. Use the services of professional title and escrow companies and licensed tax, investment, and or legal advisor before relying on any information contained herein. Information is not guaranteed as in every investment there is risk. The content found here is just my opinion and things change and I reserve the right to change my mind. Above all else, do your own analysis and think for yourself because in the end, you are the only person who is going to look out for your best interests.